First WWE, then NXT. Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe, they both have titles. Samoan Supremacy, boom. We finally have a Samoan champion people will actually cheer for. Hello, and welcome to the Wolf Tap. Oh. Yeah, welcome to Wolf Tap, Samoan Supremacy, a.k.a. minus five stars. <laughs> minus five stars? They finally found a Samoan people will cheer for, and he's the only one not related to The Rock in any he's way. The only, he's the only part of that family tree. Well, not part of that family tree, I should say. Yeah, the reason for why it's minus five stars, we'll get into later when we talk about TNA. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, wasn't that the really bad match? That... Yeah. Is, that... Yes. Is that what you linked? The one that... Uh... Is that what you yeah, linked, Ellie? Yeah, the one that... Uh... That, that, that the wrestling server guys talked about. Oh my god. Hmm. That had me long and hard, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a week before the new pay-per-view payback, so as is kind of custom to where these pre-pay-per-view Raws and Smackdowns, they're kind of meh. But this was actually a... It started out a little bit better than most, so, but uh, anyway. Um, here comes your opening segment! And here comes Stephanie to interrupt! Already I'm feeling kind of depressed. Rather be She's been gone for so long though. We've missed her. She's been gone for a it's, it's, uh, Since she got since Mania. By Roman. Since Mania. So about so almost yeah. less than a month. Uh, I'm missed her. I, I like Stephanie. Someone call chosen one era Drew McIntyre because the part is over. Steph says, you know, telling uh Shane bleh. I forgot who was else was in there. I didn't write that, write that down. Sometimes my notes bleh, kind of throw me. Because he, he, Dracus said earlier, he had no idea what happened on Raw. And I'm like, that's why I write shit down. So I don't forget. <laughs> and even then, I'm... Bleh, bleh, bleh. But anyway, I'm Steph's like... i and an accomplished journalist. <laughs> we are? Mm. I, I, don't, I don't think I have that kind of credentials. <laughs> Uh, Steph says, these people are tired of these empty politics promising empty promises like you are. And this is, most importantly, this is your last night because at Payback segment where Vince decides, hey, who's running Raw? And Shane politely asks uh, Hartford's favorite daughter in her own words to leave. She refuses, so, hey, I'm still in charge, so security, throw this bitch out. Well, the poor guy's just doing his job, just takes a mean slap, I'm like, damn. Stephanie dwarfed all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> good they got the it. smallest security guards well, I was trying Connecticut. to see if there was, like, tall heels, but no, she's just kind of that tall. And she slapped the fuck out of one. Or they're that short, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Triple H is, like, here, it's Stephanie's the... a little more down. It's been a while since I've seen them, the two together. She's kind of statuesque, mm -hmm. though, I would say. Opening matchup, Styles versus sh 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 Sheamus. I call it sh sh Sheamus versus sh 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 Styles Clash. <laughs> it, um, yeah, apparently the um, League of Nations wasn't a thing, but again, which is something we'll get to. Um, AJ gets sent over the steel steps. He escapes a top rope Irish curse and turns it into a power bomb with emphasis on the word power to how he landed on that shit. Like I, whew, I could have, and that could have ended badly for him or Seamus. I thought that was, but now he fights out a. He manages to get in there, tries to slap on a clover leaf. AJ fights out a one, manages to drag himself to the ropes for the second. Dodges a bro kick, goes for the exposed leg over the rope, using it to set up the phenomenal forearm for the win. Sick gear by Anderson and Gallows out to see the winner. So we see them already, before they have their uh, big match with the Usos. Saying they got Roman's back, but uh, Roman's, you know, continuing his one versus all. And Uso's like, sometimes the one does help from the all. Roman Reigns pretty much says vice versa. Doesn't that, doesn't that kind of get in the way the whole point of one versus all means the all doesn't help? Hmm. Respect. People die when they are king. Yeah, respect. Respect the name of the new day. Respect it. Respect, Knuckles. When they need to be stopped. <laughs> when we retain our titles, we're going to party like it's 1999. Aww. 
I, I, <laughs> I'm waiting for this Sunday where he shows up with like the 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 uh, Xavier gets the Prince hair going on. He's got like the he's got like a little oh you know mustache. he's going to you got you got to show it off, baby. I really hope they all got to come out in commentary for the tag match. They come out in, all in purple and shit. Just be like, just as long as we don't get like assless chaps or anything like that one. Um, uh, F- AMV? Well, you never F- know. AMV? They are booty, MT- so MTV. they might do assless booty oh, chaps. <laughs> also, guys, did you hear a rumor about the and yeah, payback is going to lead a revival over there for the brand split. Mm-hmm. There are possibility now, though, now with the world titles now being going to be split up, but I don't think it's going to be split up. I think they're going to be mainly split up until they get seen it back on Memorial Day weekend. Then you're gonna split the titles. Up. Yeah, yeah, I see that happening. Because him doing it like I him. don't think they should split the main titles up. I don't. Uh, no, no. They just got him back too, didn't they? Not that long ago. I think if anything, like if they were gonna do any changes to titles, if they're not gonna do a brand split, I think they should combine just combine the IC and the US title, or kill the US title because it's basically dead. <laughs> No, 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 that. kind of no offense to Khalid. Just one mid card title, yeah. He's, he's been stabbed in the back. Just one mid card title, yeah. like the X division. When well, we've is... gone through all the recaps of stuff, I saw an article which I think you'd really like that I want to talk about before we end. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're there with. We're back to the vaude villains to disrespect the new day, saying when we become the, they they, they do this thing like the new WWE World Tag Team Champions. We don't English. need more singing. We, do, we don't need a singing match between ends between, between fucking Aiden yeah. English and you Big seen that too. superstars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Aiden boy, your pipes, your pipes are failing. <laughs> Who knew? My God, I hope the vault villains win. <sighs> Who knew? Yeah, Simon got his pipes out of the speed, but then it's interrupted by Enzo Vicas. Also, Twiddle G. It's fucking stupid. Also. So Vince is fucking stupid that he is planning to drop Enzo Amore's first name and just call him Amore. Really? Because I just call him as Enzo what? and Kaz. I hope they know that. I know. Name. What? My name is... Yeah. Amore. Amore. Yeah, it doesn't really work. It's Enzo. I don't get... I don't get... I don't get Vince's obsession with one name. The one name titles. Though. I mean, never I can kind of get because Adrian isn't the most threatening of names. It's like having a warrior called Keith. What are you gonna do, with Sammy Zayn? Just name him Zayn? Well, that might that might work too. I don't know. What are you gonna do for Dallas? Bo Dallas just gonna call him. He could come Bo. out to the '80s music and be call himself the Zaniac. In Zayn oh. in the membrane. <laughs> or that. <laughs> Zayn, 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 every day. <laughs> I was I was really hoping actually no, I'll get to that with the Cesaro, with the Cesaro bit I'll get to it. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know, typical Enzo and because here are calling them you know, the Von Villain sauce and the idiot background just loving it. This is up yeah. over here. Stare the suit. The WWE, the, yeah, the Bullet 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 Club versus the <laughs> Usos. Oh, I was on, I wanted to say something about Enzo and Cass. The Von Villain. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Enzo was Why like, haven't the Von Villain oh. corrected their spelling yet? It's <laughs> it's S O F T. That's a, you Philistines. S O F T. Soft. Yeah, but the Von Villains want to party like it's 1899. Then you know the Von the Enzo and Cass come out. They call him Tweedledum and Tweedledum. And he's like, well, Tweedle G's got something to say, and we'll keep it high like a fever. Von Villains want to be tag champs, and I want to run into my own arms at the beach, but that's impossible. New Day's just, New Day's just excited. New Day's just super excited to stir in the soup. It's like, mm, yeah, we love it. And we'll still be tag teams because New Day. But yeah, Anderson and Gallows come out of AJ's locker room and route to their match with the Usos in their in-ring debut. And we get the news bullet, bullet, Memorial uh, Day. Yeah, we also get the yeah. news Memorial Day. So, game over, return of Cena. Wah, 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 wah. Which I actually... <laughs> He's not Kefka. No, I was doing the Ganon. I was trying to do Ganon from Link 2. Oh, Ganon. <laughs> yeah. Kefka's woo, 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 or something. I can't. <laughs> Brapadu. Might as well book Cena Reigns Brapadu. for SummerSlam if I feel like that's what we're gearing towards. Break the internet quicker than Kim Kardashian's cans for whatever reason. A girl's naked ass but will break the internet. 
A naked but, girl's oh, ass. I don't have to no, look all that hard to find. John okay. Cena comes back to tag team times. with Rusev, and they're and they're, the the reason they're tag team is because they both hold an appreciation for giant chains over your neck. <laughs> Because Rusev has his TV on his train. He's still the TV Cena champion. Has his they can't take that away from him. Rapping thing. <laughs> they, call them, Cena. they call themselves. Rappadoo. They call themselves the Chain Gang Lads. Rappadoo. Two chains. <laughs> Two chains. The chains are coming off. They bring in Axel in too. Oh no, Axel tried to stop that, wouldn't he? He tried to take the chains off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I never got that, the whole breaking the internet with Kim Kardashian. It's a it's a nigga girl's booty. I don't have to look all that hard to find it. Just gonna remember to turn the safe search off, you know? Just... Yeah. What ifs? Gallows takes the early, uh, Uso's offense till he explodes out of the corner. Just one it is Jay Levin Anderson to lay on the pressure on his injured shoulder. They have these, uh, NWO-esque new pads, which is just hashtag their initials. They just beat on Jay and cut that corner in half and just until he eats a barricade and crumbles to do nothing. Didn't they have like hashtag, what was it, hashtag JB for life? It was like On their trunks or something? It's like, Jay, they're not going to call it the gullet blob. The, the gullet blob? The gullet blob. <laughs> we make the best. Gullet blob. We make the best blob kicks. Even though it's, I think it was like good brothers for life. Good brothers. Yeah, that's 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 Anderson. Uh, Gallows. I mean, good brothers. The good brother. But yeah, it was like it was like uh, hashtag LG or hashtag KA for their um. It, it was their initials. I didn't see the trunks. I just noticed they was like are they weren't NWO. And it, it, it looked like it. it had like the square and like. But it was like hashtag their initials. So I was like, ah, okay, all right. Yeah. You know, oh, ease ease it really in there, good. fellas. That's all right. I'm good with that. Just looking at you know. You know what you are. <laughs> they gave you props. Kevin Nash was like, "Yeah, cool, fuck it. They're guys. These guys are awesome." You you got your blessing from Big Sexy. I'm like, all right. Um, but yeah, one of them just eats like a clothesline, just gets turned in turned inside out. <laughs> Um, Crab wasn't really on board with this. This was kind of like their first match to get the feeling out process for them. I kind of yeah. feel it would have been better if it was a quicker, more of a yes. squash. Just yes, exactly. How dominant they are. Yeah. Because here it was kind of a basic match, but they match. were really just like, but they were kind of dismantling the yeah. arm of it. And I get that it's good, that they showed good healing, but I would have rather... They needed to, to I worry destroy them because, the Usos here, like, decisively. Yeah, and I worry because, I worry because they're here, the Revival won't get moved up. And they're my favorite tag team in wrestling at the moment. Bravo's pretty good. You can't just have four bald guys in a good club. I don't know. You get Austin No, in there. That's, that's your Survivor it. Series no, team. No, <laughs> the WWE means a Meltzer driver, baby. <laughs> no, they don't. Um, they ain't moving on. So Jay's already pretty much done. So in comes Gallows with a boot and the win with the Magic Killer. They called they actually called it that. Okay. Well, yeah, the Magic Killer. Magic Killer. Uh, Reigns out post match for revenge, and the one drives the two away, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It just I was meeting up with the Gallows and Anderson after the match, saying, you know, it was it was Roman that started this fight. You know, him and those Usos, they're gonna do whatever it takes so Roman can keep that title. But we we got your back though. So we're getting like they will they so it's it's been like for a while like will they won't they like who's are the Usos even on the same page with the uh, Reigns at this point maybe they seem all put together but who knows maybe Reigns is like ah, I got this because yeah, the, the, the Usos head. are like hey these guys are here they're his friends and Roman's done his homework he's like you know I you brought them here and AJ's like no no I didn't well okay I did but they're 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 not with me they're not like well they are but they're they're they're, they're not working for me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm trying, it's trying so hard to explain and fail it miserably. Like they're not in cahoots. He's trying to yeah. put together is basically, like it's not a revival of the Bullet Club. Is yeah. AJ's words? Yeah, we know you're lying, AJ. So let's move on. <laughs> and if you ever, you like know, I said, it, do it. It, it won't. It won't matter. The, the, the people won't care. It's like you know, take this. You know, just take it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be cool with it. 
It'll be too sweet. Yeah, Pack of Playing the feud between uh, Shane and Owens. This was Terrible. good. Love this video. Yeah, yeah, this was great. Yeah. yeah. But even though they said, even though I would really act like over there, the little touch over there did what a great kayfabe and show Sammy saying it's El Generico. Cause El Generico. I would have loved over there for an extra touch. Uh, yeah, but why would they deliberately? It still did show them K like uh, super. What do you mean, K super dabu face Owens? Like they're just like they're just little kids. They're like ah, he's so adorable. What do you mean, Kayfabe? <laughs> El Generico and Sami Zayn are different people. El Generico's dead. We need to mourn him. <laughs> he saved the orphans. No, but you need over there to crunkle issues. See, like you know, sidetrack over here for a moment. This is for why that WWE pissed me off with these sort of things. Like, they don't go in really over there of in deep over there with some of these guys who are giving up to the background. It's like, you do not smell fucking money, WWE. It's... All you smell is rewriting history. Well, that's still, like, kind of their thing. Like, WWE doesn't have, like, a partnership with, I think, which was Ring of Honor at the time. They do right now, I believe, with, like, Evolve and, like, New Japan because they're just plucking everybody from there nowadays. <laughs> Like it's the eighties all over well, again. Just, That's all it was. Oh, their talent's gone over there for their talent's gone for New Japan, but they have a partnership with Default. But yes, we'll get into that first. Move on. Oh, so now we have Insane taking on Rusev. Um, but yeah, the oh, he's back with Lana. We had the but yeah the vignette Owens admitting Zane making WWE first and getting that NXT title uh bothered him and Zane in turn was stunned and hurt. Owens took his Raw debut away from him, kind of. Uh, so Zayn comes out to spoil that. The Rumble. Owen says Zayn's made things personal, not me. I was a victim! Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. Basically putting over that, you know, this this isn't going to be settled until we actually, like, settle this feud. Like, we can't, neither one of us can move on from this point. Rusev Machka. Again, not sure if the league was broken here to make room for newer stables? I think it was more just, mm -hmm. uh, from what I heard, because Alberto Del Rio did an interview. Oh, and it was the... They never really meshed well together. They were originally going to feud with the Wyatts so at Payback. Babyface Wyatts against them. But because then Wyatt and Harper injured themselves, that was kind of put off the table. Hmm. And so then they were just kind of disbanded. Yeah. Because they had a lot of potential, but they were really mishandled. Yeah. And Barrett left, and I'm sad. Hmm. If Barrett stayed, they would have stayed together, damn it. He was the glue. He held that team together, damn it, with his glass of with his water. They were fluid like water. Glass of water, glass of water. Uh, but yeah, it's just him with Lana. Jesus, that kick from Rusev right on the button, and somehow Zayn barely gets that shoulder up. Like you, like you hear just. Uh, Rusev still telling himself to crush. Like you have Lana back. She's. she's... She's not doing much. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, she kind of is, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't have a match anymore or anything. She's just that one thing, and that was it. I'm like, she's not doing anything. She can't She can't tell you to crush like the old times? You know, the, like how you used to be as a family. Rusev Mashka. Roll up victory for Zayn, and Lana just throws her f shoes at him. What the fuck? <laughs> That's rude. You can't slap him. She's nice. Woman. Well, I want to see Rusev turn babyface. Well, I can remember Summer threw a show at Rusev, and then Michael Cole said, I guess that's what they mean when they say he'll turn. No. You know, if I were the, <laughs> you know, if I would have done, if I were Sammy saying, I'd just come over to the ropes, tor tornado DDT lost his ass. It's tornado. Yeah. yeah, but you're not going to do that because you're... it's PG white. And he's white as babyface ever. Right now, you yeah. Know the o the only the only person who's allowed to put who's allowed to hit women is Roman because that's what will get the people to like him. Bearing Stephanie, why would you spear Stephanie and Rita Repulsa? <laughs> ah, after ten thousand years, of... get back in the dumpster. Get back in the dumpster. That was Superman punch. Back in the Superman yeah. punch. Pew. There's. A... And then we got things with another Paul Cruz squash match, blah, 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 set up power bomb for the win. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. They're coming out with the Ambrose Asylum. They're my man, Dean Ambrose. Coming out with things with match this Saturday, Sunday, calling out Jericho because he's not talking. Your dad comes over there dressed like he's a man, we're going to set a magic mic. Ambrose never sued a stupid idiot. Jericho says he's never fighting a dumb like this. Can't blame I'm not wasting my time here. He 
<laughs> yeah, he's a man of miracle getting on his knees and apologizing for stealing his highly real show. And also his scarf, by the way. Ambrose <laughs> apologizes for anything, including Jericho's outfit and his Bon Jovi haircut. Says he doesn't apologize before punching Jericho in the face. Oh, and, then Ambrose tears down and, not say here. and then Jericho turns the tables on a turning the tables! Beating the hell out of him <laughs> on the table, sitting over the top of it, and the same it. Also, side point, doesn't Jericho over there for his current four kind of look like Vic Mignon to you guys? No. Maybe I'm the only, the only one. I, can, I, can, I, I still see um, Gordon Ramsay sometimes. Like, he gets, I know he, I know he said he gets that a lot. I just saw fucking DDP's Twitter tweeted out him a picture of him and Edge and called Edge Chris Jericho. That was that, that was, was whimsical. God. Yeah, it's fucking... rated Y2J. That's right. Former tag team champions so... for all of and then we got... probably and a then month we got or so. But yeah, he wanted to. He wanted the Ambrose Assam, and then it was like, no, I'm just gonna call Jericho out, and Jericho's like, yeah. You know, why don't you kiss my fifteen hundred dollar thousand kicks, seven fifty a boot, Ambrose? Ask me how. Ask me how much they cost. Ask me. <laughs> I'm never gonna get tired of just him saying, "Ask me." I, I want to. I wanted to see that as a segment. Like, ask me how they cost. Ask me what they like, cost. Drinking game for payback. Take a drink every time Chris Jericho calls someone an idiot. Yeah, Take yeah. Take true drinks when he calls someone a stupid idiot. Stupid, yeah. The stupid man. <laughs> yeah, just, stupid you can be a Poor you be a drinking game or there for where, Yeah, no, it's, it's like there should be a drinking game or there for back in the day for every time Jericho calls someone a hypocrite. Hypocrite. Gelatinous parasite. That's another one. Chris Jericho invented Canada. Damn you, Bret Hart, stealing Canada from Chris Jericho. Yeah, it just it makes you think that Chris Jericho is secretly Canada from Italia. <laughs> what did you, yeah, the CM Punk thing? What did you What did you invent, Bret Hart? When you were like what, two years old? Did you invent him? Did you invent him being Canadian? Did you invent Canada? <laughs> he would take. He does look like the guy that would take credit for inventing Canada. He's like, so yeah, I'm Chris Jericho. I invented Canada. That's right. A. You're welcome. <laughs> A. Maple syrup? Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Canadian bacon? Yeah. 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 Looking out for you, fam. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, Hallelujah. Yeah, sir. They missed that one so Take a drink. Yeah. So, anyway, we got a quick women's match over there with Natty winning over there for Char Shooter over there with, you know, Charlotte. That should have been over Emma. Guy. That shouldn't have been over Emma. Yeah. I know. We give you it know. to Summer, Tamina. Poor, poor Emma. Preferably man. not Naomi, but even she was in a feud with Paige, well, the, and then that's nothing. Yeah, that's that's the point. Is she's in a feud with Becky Lynch at the moment. But Becky's who, not. Oh, it's Becky. That's right. It was Becky Lynch. Yeah. I thought it was going to transition to Paige because of their thing. Oh, no, she beat Paige for like... Becky, who gave us the best back, uh, kind of WWE online exclusive, <laughs> Rich Brennan's last interview with WWE oh. was interviewing Becky Lynch, yeah. who was eating salad with chopsticks. Yeah, you weren't here. That's our first yes. our first episode. Me and you was uh, Rich Brennan. Uh, everything coming up Rich Brennan was our first... Uh, we were still Suplex City, so I'm like, ah. End of an era. Oh, man. yeah. Was, uh, that, was our first, that was our first one. Uh, and he was on. He, uh -huh. he was our. Um, he was our pick. Now I, for this one, I have uh, I, I don't know if he showed it, but I, I quickly grabbed Samoa Joe. I had this idea from uh, last week. He has the um, X division title and the tag team titles at the same time, and I just put the letters N and T over the tag title, so it spells NXT <laughs> champion. <laughs> oh dear, but You'll see that when it comes up. Got, uh, but I was like, yeah, yeah I like this. Okay, this will be WWE. good. He's so, so good, yeah, he split it in three titles. That's how good Samoa Joe is. <laughs> yeah, so we, we had classic thing over there by the WWE, you know, showing the moral video package over there by trying to cross over there at WWE. But then no. over there, we, uh, but then we get to cut back, back down over there to Sasha over there. Game Sandow versus oh, Barry Corbin, but you glad to have Barry Corbin here during his entrance, and then there's a match for Corbin, or not. Out for between Corbin and Ziggler, yeah, they left off the fucking Enzo big cast ball villains as for this piece of shit. Hmm. Moving Pots, on. Yeah, Ziggler just jumps uh, Corbin from behind as he's about to fight Danny and Sandow. Potswoggle saying, Potswoggle with the tweet saying, not the first time Ziggler blasted someone behind if you catch my drift. 
Mrs. Apollo yeah. with the pimple oh. saying Cesaro will beat him. You don't. You people don't the see the benefit. Cesaro. You don't see the benefit. Antonio in Cesaro. Yeah. You don't. You people don't see the benefit in me continuing to be your icy champion. This is more than a title. More than an accomplishment. This is legendary. The greatest superstars have held this title, and now I am among them. And Cesaro never has or I will. You mindless wanderers, hold your Cesaro section signs. You think you're empowered by writing on a sign. Don't you think you're better than that to sing among the internet trolls that pine for Cesaro? Like, that's what your section look like, and here's mine. Ah, uh, he holds the title, and he's, he's got his wife. He points, <laughs> points all the shit. He's like, yeah. Compare your lives to mine, fuckers. <laughs> I'm heel. Like... The Miz is the best heel in the WWE. Right now, yeah, yeah. Bar none. Maybe Samoa Joe. But that's a different kind that's, of heel. Yeah. Samoa Joe is like a cool monster. The monster Miz heel. is just, I want to punch this man in the face. Miz is heat, 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 heat. Just call him it. Just call him it. Just, he's an elemental hero because he's got the heat. He's just spitting straight fire. <laughs> but, but, we all know who truly in the face. but we all know truly who is the best heel in wrestling. D.I.W.G.B. Heavyweight Champion, Tessie and I told Big Eye. Moving on. Here. Anywho. Also, for anybody over here thinking that, like, the Mrs. Cesaro should sell her feel like at SummerSlam in front of a movie set before all the movie calls they were even saying. Mm. It's like, you have Cesaro coming out of the chains one outfit, and, like, Mrs. comes out of there for the student's high, and they're literally over there just like the match ends in explosion. <laughs> Just like obey that shit, man. Yeah. Giant swing. I do like the boom. <laughs> bring back the um yes. fucking or bring back the fucking explosion. I think that's more deathmatch, but you could probably do some dumb shit with that, like explosions around the ring. You know what? Actually, better sell it on Camp WWE. Oh, <laughs> that's good. that started, didn't it? I think mean, I might have seen it while I was watching. Uh, Trying to catch up NXT. Yeah, no, is kicked off. Uh, no, 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 no. People got their uh, press release copies of it before it airs after payback on the WWE Network. So, mm. anywho, then we want to do over there. Roman Reigns taking on Del Rio. Um. Well, we did the like Cesaro comes out for Miss, and you know the you know the people are way too educated to fall whatever for whatever you're selling. And Miss Charles De Niro's like, you're talking to me. And then interrupts with Pesci. What am I funny? Do I amuse you? And Cesaro's like, you know what? Do I amuse you? Like, what, what am I funny? Am I clown? Do I amuse you? And Cesaro's like, mildly. The only movie you're fit to star in is Jackass and that the credits will soon roll in your title reign. And Ms. S. Cesaro, do you feel lucky? And Cesaro's like, go ahead. Make my day. Ms. leaves and tries to attack Cesaro from behind who gets caught in the European uppercut and the wife ensures Ms. doesn't get giant swung while Cesaro's still in a suit, by the way, doing all this. Would have loved to see if he could still pull that off somehow. <laughs> But again, considering how easy it pulls up, it's like a one piece. It's like, pew! And then he's, he's like, wait, I still got my suit on. Pew! And then he swings up. <laughs> oh, especially as uh, Johnny from New Legacy dropped a pic of uh, number 42 from the Hitman series. Oh, oh! <laughs> like, could you imagine Cesaro in the hit as fucking hit number 42? Like, damn! Just the red tie and suit. Just... You wouldn't even have to say anything. You'd just be like, just killing motherfuckers left and right. And it would be the perfect touch to be like having that James Bond over there where they had a microscope shot and then just have all of a sudden just blood falls out of the, <laughs> of the periscope. <laughs> that would be so perfect. You raised in Del Rio. Uh, hustle, loyalty, and respect looking more like lather, rinse, repeat already with the, hey, let's show footage of Roman with sick kids so you can't boom. You know, you know, I wouldn't see you do that shit for Kevin Owens. I, I, I bet it'd be great just as long as Sammy doesn't come see him. Leave me alone, Sammy. It just made me think. It made me think like, oh, they're doing they're they're doing it here. The the, the scene thing already. I'm like, oh god, you, you are not helping his case at all. If anything, you're making it worse. You're exacerbating the wound, people. Uh, Johnny with another gem, uh, saying that Dario Coelho sent Del Rio El Patron to the WWE to retrieve the brass rings that he feels may be the the Aztec medallions. <laughs> that was uh, not Dario Coelho. Coelho. It's Dar Dario Cueto. Cueto. Not Coelho. Coelho? Is it Cueto? It's Cueto. Cueto. Yeah. I can't I believe I'm going best for on the whole Lucha Underground oh, name boy. pronunciations. <laughs> that was Cueto. I'd see Cueto. I thought it was. No, it was a T? Uh, 
I look yeah, yeah, but I look Quillo, but anyway. there, there with the, yeah, yeah, Del Rio game with a little blood game and busted on a head by over there from Reigns. Reigns didn't go over there for the win, but then Carl and Gallus over there come out of there making this qualification, making it rain. You know, there gets three off the it's raw, but Reigns kicks out his get over there for the Can't win. Can't even get a roll up, Del Rio. Damn. Yeah, I know. We gotta make and, Roman you know, look Carl strong. Gallus attacked, yeah, mm. Carl and Gallus attack Reigns, but Silas comes out and stops him. Reigns is super punch on Silas out of nowhere, and goes after Carl and Gallus. So it's also roasted and hits the on the forearm. I'll stuck it up over there for the side. And that is Monday Night Raw. It's next day. She. Yep. 100% confirmed. Valor Club. Debuting a payback. Hmm. Could be. But how will they debut? Do they do it pay-per-view or do they over... do it the day after? Yeah. Well, no, because no, no. I think they could debut and cost AJ the match. But I prefer the idea... But Anderson and Gallows intervene, and they have Rain sitting lying there on the floor. AJ can pin him, and AJ says no because AJ's too much of a good guy. He's a babyface to resort to their healing tactics, so he refuses to pin him, resulting in Roman's Reigns getting the win. And then we have Balor coming in on the Raw after payback to uh, kind of align himself with Anderson and Gallows and say, "Man, fuck AJ Styles. He didn't like us." You know what? You know, actually be perfect. Or there you have uh, Gal Sanderson sitting there from the inside. It's like Roman and the ref are thinking, like, what the fuck are they doing? And all of a sudden, Styles like crawling over there for Adder to get in and beat it. And then all of a sudden, it, bam, shot in the nuts. And then AJ causes qualification. And then AJ and uh, Carl and Anderson and Gal over there just allowed to attack him. And that's how I see their debut. Anyhow, yeah, that was wrong. There, but before we get over to word of uh, NFC, we have to kind of go a little bit brief, but we're not going to talk about the actual results. We're just going to be talking about, you know, for what happened over there during the NFC tapings, of course. That or the other no, Eric don't Young, spoil Young. everything. Why spoil stuff? I know, but but it's news, you fuck. No, but we no, gotta talk not, about we're just it. doing current that's stuff. Not, that, I doubt that's news. That's more. It, it's like news to say that it'd be news to say AJ's win, AJ wins the title at Payback. That's news because it's a new title, but it's also spoiling stuff. It's spoiling, yeah. We just want to keep it. Yeah, but, we just want to keep it a weekly thing. So we're just yeah, talking but, about but, uh, current NXT. Of course, yeah, yeah. But of course, over there we also have Austin breaking news over there with Bailey getting injured at the recent NXT tapings. Oh. But, it makes me wonder that possibly maybe that this is a work or this was legit, but then like oh yeah, yeah. I didn't gonna, see that. I seen the, uh, there. They showed what happened at um the Dayton or whatever it was that the third um Baylor Joe match was, and Baylor takes it pretty hard. Like he goes for like a barricade, and his his leg just goes like into it almost. Oh, the one in Massachusetts, yeah. So I don't know if he's selling an injury or not or yeah. if he has like a legit one that's why i was like no, that's why i didn't want to say anything on the whole Balor club thing so it might be just those two for a while who knows yeah yeah also i guess over here if on tna but we're not going to talk about impact we're going to be talking about the infamous match that brian and Vinny covered upon the brian and Vinny show the infamous uh, infamous shelly martinez versus rebel Nash, and dear fucking christ <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen a match this bad for women since Charmel and Jenna Morosco. Is that bad? Oh my god. Because that was pretty bad. Is that I no, see that match. Is worse. And, no, I say this is fucking worse. And you know why? Because these were two trained women's wrestlers put on a level of that kind of match that's that bad. So horrible. At least Charmel and Jenna Morosco had the excuse of the fact that they were not trained wrestlers. These two were trained athletes, and yet they had a match that was so bad, so horrible. That of Plus, course, they had one that no background is, of wrestling. Charmel at least was like a Nitro girl. Yeah. Maybe some kind of made have picked up like something from somewhere, maybe from her husband yeah, or but, whoever. But of course, of course, but I got to give her a little bit of in detail. We're all pretty. That's over there, for where Shelly, well, this is one of the worst finishes I've ever seen. Shelly goes to do a suicide dive on Rebel, 
But as she's going to do the suicide dive, she just hangs up over there from the ropes, like for her guy over there is in between the ropes and her legs get caught up over there. It's like, that's not how you do a suicide dive, Shelly. It's that she botched up bad. And then so they had to over there for some reason over there due to pain after that. But then afterwards over there revealed that, that Shelly Martinez over there had to do a cover-up job because her pussy over there was being exposed on a TV. You can oddly hear her saying that on camera. There, and this match was so bad. As Brian Alvarez would say, minus five stars! He, he, I there. thought he was a southern guy because that's what I heard it for his botch money just to hear just it was because early I just heard that clip of minus five stars, but no, it, it, it's not he's not southern. He just turned into that for some. No, reason. he is from no, uh, he no, like no, no, he is, no, he, uh, no, no, he is from Washington. Over yeah, from, okay, uh, so yeah, he's he's from Washington. Yeah, he's yeah, he sounded over there. He sounded there, like a local there, but anyway, yeah, yeah, but anyway, coming over there from. Uh, TNA portion. I just want to talk about that horrible match because you people over there need to see it because of how bad it is. But anywho, now yeah, we move on to Warren NXT. Yeah, he linked it early in the channel. I I know who won, but I'll take a look at it there. But it's like Rebel who kind of has like a starting to get like a I think she has like a penchant for being kind of botching and shit or something along those lines. Because there was like the one the one footage of like her going through things and the other members of Dollhouse Hearts telling her like, uh, Rebel over here, like stand in or something like that. They're trying to get her to like stand in a certain to get like a camera shot of her like celebrating or something like that. She's not in frame or something. Like she'd missed her cue or something along those lines. But anyway, the Red Storm returns to NXT to en endure the fans, but mostly to survive a match with the new women's champion, Asuka. Um, she's getting I didn't the, like the commentary on this match. She's getting the Cena treatment now with the Let's Go Eva Eva song. Yeah. She's get again, she's getting a reaction as uh I don't want you I forget which one of you pointed that out, but I'm like, yeah, okay. She's getting a fantastic reaction. It's she's a good heel because people hate her. And compared to how she was like say last year, she's very much under like understanding how to handle the heat she's getting. She's playing off the crowd a yeah, lot better. She's, she's coming into her own. Um out comes Nia Jax to try and cheer Eva along with along with Corey Graves on commentary. I, I seriously can't believe this wasn't Asuka's just ruining her in a minute, but I, I felt like that way with uh, Roman Reigns. That's kind of the problem with being the champion. Sometimes you gotta sell a little more. You gotta make it look like you could lose the I title. I think it's the problem with WWE's match philosophy in general. They always trying to yeah. have a babyface comeback for the victory, like yeah. we're seeing the main event for NXT, but especially this, Asuka should never be selling for Eva Marie. No. This should have been like, as much as Eva's got better, Asuka should demolish her. This should have been super one-sided. Uh, yeah, she was. She got a little also, crafty. Also, the to dodge. was a paint. Yeah, Corey Graves is the boner for Eva. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's not even that, but or well, it's that. That's kind of annoying. But then it's Tom Phillips' way of kind of countering that is to be very just put her down and. Or in the same way that JBL was to the Ascension almost. And just bury her on commentary. And as much as I'm not a fan of Eve Marie, it's... I don't like color Carl commentators doing that to Carl performers. You don't, want, you don't want them going too overboard unless it's like in their character to kind of be like, yeah. it's one thing. Like, the whole, Phillips is like nice Jerry guy. Lawler does it well with the AJ Styles thing. It's like, oh, all right. So JBL does too with that, but sometimes you can get you can get a little too overboard with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but JBL's an idiot right because on Raw he said who by two, two plus two sometimes equals four, Michael. <laughs> Was that the whole four Black Helicopters ten. rant he does every week? It's the whole thing about how AJ must be in, co in cahoots with Anderson and Gallows and then Byron's like, no, Where's your proof? trust him. Where's your proof? I'm Byron Saxton. I'm oh, Byron Saxton, no. where's your proof? The Bullet Club, the if the Bullet Club shirt don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> but the, they come in different sizes. Shut up! Don't argue, don't argue me when I'm making my point, Michael. There, but then it basically man, it just goes five minutes and Oscar wins from us. Kid. Yeah. There, if any show were there, just basically the Cliff Notes version. Yeah, yeah, Joe Beats Yeah, yeah, Samoa Joe Beats Balor for the NFC title. Mm -hmm. Moving on. And we want to work revival set on Matt Lee and Jay Parker. And, and the rebel pissed off, and it's awesome. And there, there with <laughs> I love the, the wrestling. Oh. 
Three point oh are fantastic. Go back to the NXT's writer. He's back winning with Mojo Riley fighting through Blake and Murphy. Somehow still turning no, writer's no. left knee throughout the match. We need to talk about one thing before no, that match um... though in the rev- in the revival match in the revival match. Oh, okay. Yeah, back to the what was it? The revival versus Matt Lee and Jeff Parker? Just Matt Lee and Jeff Parker, games. who are most commonly known on Chikara as 3.0. Ah. Okay. But yeah. my favorite moment is I am respecting the rules. <laughs> And I want to yeah. see defense chance. I want to see these people actually be part of like proper full on NXT because they are good baby faces, just proper underdog <laughs> shit. Crowd got behind them. I, I, yeah, I can't remember the yeah. last time that effectively local talent got that yeah. much support from the crowd. That's good shit. They were chanting defense. They laughed with him. They were really good. And that made the revival look even better by fucking killing them. You know what over there for, for the comedy scene at WWE should sign that team for men is Bill Carr and Dan Barry. They're fucking hilarious together. And actually, really good wrestlers over there, as a matter of fact. They're here's their of, uh, Russell Wikipedia page about them. Yeah, tremendous. Just tremendous. Are they signed by, uh, Raven? Because <laughs> that's where he got it. <laughs> CM Punk's, uh, impression is just him going to like, ah, it's tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. Over yeah. there, there, and now, now we have over here the Dubstep Brothers, aka Blake Murphy, take on the Hype Bros. <laughs> what the... is that? The, oh. the, 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 it's, it's, why is our music still Dubstep? Like the womp, 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 womp. Where's Alexa? Yeah. Even in the commentary, it was like, where's Alexa? Just, just, I don't know, I'll keep around fucking dumb. Where's Alexa Bliss? Yeah. Everyone, everyone's just like, where's Alexa? And I was like, come on, guys, we're former champions. Oh, God, Mojo Riley. Someone that big and porcelain should move that fucking fast, but he's, he's, he looks like a fucking Jolly Rancher <laughs> just flying all over the place. Holy shit. Whew. Um, uh, and then the Revival jumped them from behind post-match. So I guess we're... So, hey, more tag team collusions between them. We gotta build somebody back up for the American Alpha. So I guess they're looking for their rematch over, over the more over the he ain't hype he ain't hype. I want I I want to see revival and American Alpha just fight forever because <laughs> they're forever. so good together. <laughs> yep, but anyway, now we move on to Ward. Bada Bean, the hottest chicken ring. Carmella taking on Alia. Carmella. Alia for a TP debut. Ah, she was so impressive. Good. Carmella well, doing it on her own. Her full Can't TV debut, because she was uh, in the... Was that well, no, one? she was in the Divas for the number one contender oh, that yeah, Carmella yeah. won. Oh, that's right. But she was, like, eliminated, yeah. like, five seconds into it by... That's right. I yeah. ask her. This was her. This was, like, her singles debut, kind of. Yeah, and, and she, she was, was good. Yeah, yeah. They both were. Carmella's uh, got, or... like, a nice... Uh, I like her submission, the triangle, kind of reverse thing. Staten Island head scissors. Love it. Oh, also, Aaliyah's she's really young, twenty two yeah. this year in November. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we want to award the main event. The director are taking on the King of Swag, Shinsuke Nakamura. Elias Simpson earlier had this... words saying Regal misinterpreted uh, his mis- his words a week ago. Nakamura, I'll show you that I am. The Drifter, and you should have never drifted to NXT. He should have sung that promo. He should sing his promos. I didn't, oh, He's I a drifter. About, he plays guitar. Uh, I didn't know about that one. I didn't, I didn't feel that struggle about oh, that bad, one, buddy. Bad, bad singing's better than just bad promos. Bad, yeah, it is bad yeah, singing. I wasn't is, feeling this gives one. you a sense of character. <laughs> I know that's your character, but you got to do more than just be like, oh, I'm the Drifter and things drift. I'm like, that's that's what people are saying to you. Like, you got to do something better but than that. Missed, people are telling you to drift away. They're now. fucking with you. you got to be like... At least he has a character now. Before he was just... Shh. Head scissors. Not head scissors. Neck breaker. Neck breaker. Shh. That's what he should have done here. He should have been like... Neck breaker out of nowhere. Like, as, as someone was asking this question, he should have been like, shh. You hear that? Silence. And that's what these people are going to be after I destroy Nakamura. Something along those lines. He should have kept it a little simpler, I think. Also, Nakamura should not be selling for Elias Samson. This is, yeah, this is another example. Again, not be selling for Eva Marie. Yeah, again, this was... 
Uh, but it was a it was your main event. Big opportunity for Samson, in my opinion. I think Nakamura's like your the new guy that they're gonna push super duper hard. So he of course wins this one. Yeah, with a Kinshaka. Or AU for there for you guys that Dixie Car with breaking news. Or there is a signing of, of evolved talent, the Cub Scout Kalen Conley. Or EA Woo moving on. They gotta get somebody. Yeah, they just found out that um um this was, this, was, this was after SmackDown. I found this out Twitter like 20 minutes later. Um, Eric Young is a uh, NXT band. That, that, one, that, that was about to say we're there, we're not, oh. but then Jurassic got me off of that. Oh. <laughs> there, there, there. But anywho, now we move on toward Lucha Underground, and we start off things over there with Cage in a cage. Cage yeah. versus Johnny Cage Mundo. Cage. There is Cage Session, if you will. But anywho... They're, they're surprised over there to smash the opener. I think they're there where they're being the main event, but Moon over there blocking the smash over there with a the dance. He's the only other steel cage match that Lucha Underground had. Johnny Mundo won. Then right out the back, Cage just wanted to rip Mundo apart. After a little bit of back and forth in action, Cage finally started to dominate Mundo, using a cage overall towards the finish. All throughout the match, Ty kept trying to get involved in multiple ways, like getting Mundo, Kendo Six, and Chairs, a la Tommy Dreamer, but Cage won't stay down. Mundo tried to Spanish fly and a Moonlight Driver off the top rope, but even that won't cage, he cage down because Cage is obese. Then when Mundo tried to modify version at the end of the world off the top of the steel cage, Cage moved and it looked to be in control until Ty Punk uh, jumped in the steel cage and landed a hard crossbody on Cage. They're a la, um, I fucking that one guy over there that did on uh, Trevor Lee in that uh, six size steel match from uh, TNA. Fuck, I can't remember his name, but anywho. There, that Ty Mundo double team Cage, but even that won't keep it down. Ty tried to handcuff Cage, but it went fire, and she was handcuffed over there to rope. Cage hit Mundo over there with a pile driver on the chair for the win. Overall, this was a uh, very nice overall, and then we on toward the main event for the Elimination Trio's title. Eva Lee's and Havoc versus BJ Black, Phoenix, and Jack Adams versus Cortez, Cisco. And Joey Ryan versus Prince Puma, Azteca Jr., and Rey Mysterio. Before this, we got Harry Cueto announced before the match, and Helico over there is hurt and won't compete in the trios match. But I believe in Havoc over there will still compete, so it puts I believe in Havoc in, in a disadvantage. There are some things with Rey Mysterio, I believe Smith and Cisco are in the match. You know, things were crazy, only got crazier as the match went on. There, things, uh, there were multiple tags back and forth, people flying up around, so much the same action over there is hard to keep control of. But there for why the Dragons get so upset over there because of the camera shoes and everything. But moving on. For all, there were Cisco and Joey Ryan and Cortez were eliminated first when Ivory Lee wrote up Cortez and pinned him. Now with three teams left up and things get less chaos get a little bit more under control. It, it will be even funnier as well. As one point, Jack Evans was buried between his opponents and said Ivory wasn't the best bitch in the building. He was, and it's like, no, nope, you're talking to the wrong person over there, uh, Jack. That's Carmella, it's not I Believe. There, over there, yeah, it was a great banner between Jack Evans and I Believe and Evan West. Uh, I Believe and Hagrid are killing this match. They were, that's not a good point, but after he featured Black Dyer Ball and helped Jack Evans pin I Believe. So now we're down to two teams. We're definitely getting new champions here. But after each other, was super fun to watch. I said that Phoenix went back and forth and doing some amazing moves that kept the crowd going up there on their feet. There went PJ and Puma got hot tags and again another fun pairing to watch going out of there in this match. We almost had to match one more scene, but Adam's low blown and when the rap was distracted, he started breaking down from there and Ray hit a 619 on PJ and Evans. Then Puma and Second took out Phoenix and PJ Wolf ran his new over there with the dive over there for the win. And now new trio champions. Prince Puma, Azteca Jr., and Rey Mysterio there, too. That was the main event. And we see Vampiro in the garage side area, and he's yelling at Pentagon Jr. over there who is in a wheelchair. Vampiro's yelling over to get up, but because it's her foot, he can't. Vampiro pours hot wax on him, which makes Pentagon scream in pain. He tries to stand up and fell his face first on the floor. Vampiro calls him weak. You see side of Pentagon Jr. laying on the floor over there to end the show. And that was Blue China Brown. There and there's going sore there for Ring of Honor because I have a son over there. House oh, of Wax over. match. Go. And basically, yeah, House of Wax go. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. And basically, uh, and then basically that all Ring of Honor was, is this week is to continue more of uh, 
Max is over there from the Honor Rising show. There, so moving on over there with that. But I wanted to cover the the house show before we get to Wrestling Don Taku this Tuesday night over in Japan. The road to Wrestling Don Taku. The house per se is for one of those house shows that is a New Japan broadcast on a New Japan World. It's basically trying to keep it short. Um, Overall, that with uh, just him. Robinson and Jay White, there are two great rookies that are defeating Captain New Japan and David Finley. There with uh, Yoshihashi, Rocky Romero, and Bur- uh, Trent Brennan, aka okay, Rafael Yankee Vice, being Manabu Nakanishi, and Sport, and the Booty Man, Ryusuke Taguchi. There with the uh, match over there with uh, Makabe, Homna, and Yoshitasu defeating Yujiro, Tamatanga, and Tagalo over there for the Bullet Club. There we have also with uh, Shibata and Kushida defeating Yushi Nagata and Jushin Thunder Liger sent their two matches at Don Taku. There we also have uh, Ishii, uh, Okada, and Goto defeating and Gato defeating Naito, Sonata, Evil, and Bushi of Los Angeles. So they're staying over there for those uh, main events at Don Taku. There and then we also have uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi defeating uh, Balak Bale. There, but then first one match will kind of go over a little bit more in detail there because this match is fucking great. For the IWGP Air Continental title between Kenny Omega versus Big Mike, Michael Elgin. There, and this is the only main reason you want to watch this show on on, uh, on the New Japan World. There, there's a lot of weapon play, particularly with Omega using a trash can and his broom because he's, he's a cleaner. Even set up a table and playing side over there for the referee. There, I was kind of somewhat worried over there to statue uh, air jump wrestling, you know, trying to drag it down, but you know, this was a you know, over there was a little bit over 20 minutes, and the Omega hitting the one way angel over there for the win on mm-hmm. Elgin and for his first title fans over there. This was the uh, match, after the match, Tanahashi challenged Omega at the Dominion pay per view for the IC title. Omega responded to Tanahashi uh, saying, I'll think about it, falling by a love ball over there and a beat down. And then Omega setting up a ladder match over Tanahashi's front body and saying, like, I don't feel like ever facing you again, which makes me think, maybe ladder match in Dominion for the IWGP IC title? It makes me think, because New Japan never done ladder matches over there before. See, this is how you're supposed to do it, WWE, that for when that you are supposed to do a stipulation match, you're supposed to make it feel special. New Japan never done this before, and people are over there for treat This can only over there end up horribly, or this can end up great because it's Omega and Tanahashi for AU, and now it's New Japan. So now we want over to SmackDown. Um, begins with Rain and Sun. Roman Reigns. He is the guy with lots of cool hair. He doesn't. He still has his vest. I, I'm. I'm still convinced he has like an embarrassing like tattoo on his like chest or something like that. And he can't take off the vest. Like he has to wrestle in the Fucking vest. Fucking T Master reigns over his belly button. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> and then you see like the true re- the when um, I guess they throw down at SummerSlam. So I'm, that's what I, I think they're geared towards. Maybe they could do like a, oh, maybe, I don't know. They could. I think the main event for SummerSlam, I don't think it's going to be a shield drop before. I think it's either going to be Cena, it's going to be Cena and Reigns or Reigns and Lesnar. Yeah, yeah. Because Reigns is obviously going to be the one. Reigns is going to be the one to beat Cena or Lesnar. That's oh, what they've oh, been building up to not. since last year. Oh, I hope they don't uh, do that. Oh, 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 speaking of that, for there for when Fron is in there, did you guys hear the rumor that Triple H is planning to do the Shield versus the Bullet Club as Survivor Series in a War Games match? Really? Yeah, I that'd be that. awesome. That should be interesting. That that'd be awesome. What is the War Games match? Uh, I, think yeah. one, I think it was like in a cage, okay, and then like uh, one guy came in, and something else. It's been a while since I seen that. Uh, 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 oh, okay. Okay, okay, I'll basically explain the click notes version over there. It's basically, it's like Lethal Lock over there for TNA, but better. There, so you have uh, five, uh, five men over there for other team. The one phase first one, he'll start off the match over there. And then they start there for the ring for five minutes over there. Then the next guy enters the ring the over stable. there. It's like, the, it's like the Rumble, uh, kind of. Yeah, it's but it's just two thought. stables oh, going okay. at yeah, yeah, I get it. Over if there it's five people, point. who's going to be else on the shield? Over there, it's just basically, if we take it that the, the Bullet Club will be Anderson Gallows, Balor, and Styles, and then someone else. Oh, yeah, over there, if, then, if we were going to get another tag team in the in the Bulletproof Balor Club, I'd love to see Revival in it because they would 
fucking fit to a T. Yeah, they were there, but then basically continue to explain the Clintos version of four games. There have been basically the next participant is cited by a coin toss, usually won by the heels because of the four games tradition, of course. Then over there, there for you know, no pinfalls, no submissions, no disqualifications, no counts happen until all ten Everybody's men in. enter the ring, and and then the match beyond begins, and where you can only win the match by submission or by someone saying "I quit." So it's not even pinfalls at that point. Yep, you can't win my pinfall or submission until all ten men are entering in the ring. I'd be super down for that. So I could see the so network doing something that. like that. Like, oh, hey, since we're bringing back war games, here's all this stuff on the network for you. Like, oh, all the papers we did for that. Because it's, it's Dusty Rhodes' baby, too. You could put yeah. Shadow. Or, well. or, or, or you could buy the war games Blu-ray. Or you're going to save yourself some trouble. Yeah, you know? they'll, they'll put that out. They'll put out a something else for that. You could totally, yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, Reigns uh, saying Styles isn't fooling anybody, saying he's not using Gallows or Anderson. I, I know their history. So does everybody else here. You know, I'm like, yeah, Roman, he's, Roman's kind of like man of the like, yourself and man of the people. He's like, be a man, come out here and admit it. And he gets Miz instead saying, you know, I was the first to publicly state Gallows and Anderson are like are like Andy Dufresne and his pal Red in the 94 cinematic, cinematic classic The Shawshank Redemption, which must make you the warden, Roman. Left dumbfounded at their deception, staring at a hole in the wall while AJ leaves with your title. Miss X for recognition for that and gets punched in the face. Rude. I'd like to point out that every time Miz does a movie quote, he's, he's now getting cheered. <laughs> and then he kisses his wife so people want to punch him again. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's like, yay, boobies. <laughs> I saw that one. Yeah, boo, yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah, boo, yeah, boo, yeah, boo. Boo, yeah, boo. Um, the league remembered they're a stable tonight as WWE tries to make us forget that they've done fuck all since winning at Media 4 on 3. But they're still all like, yeah, Barrett was the weak link. Ah. With the lags. Barrett, so, uh, with the league of Nation standing on Kalisto, Sane, and Cesaro. Yeah, it was, like a, it was like an open challenge and these three, uh, Kalisto, Sammy, and Cesaro step up to take them on. Mm -hmm. Or not, because... Delrion and Rusev, uh, all of a sudden, they want to argue who beats on who, and Sheamus, like, has to take control for that. And they do it again later on, as Sheamus has to, like, go out of the ring, drag Sammy back to their corner, and be like, what the fuck, guys? <laughs> and Del Rio, they start strumming each other, and then Sheamus gets angry at him, and Del Rio has enough. He leaves, so now it's Rusev and Sheamus arguing with one another. Sammy ducks an attack from Sheamus, meant for him that Rusev eats instead, so they go at it for a while, and this time Rusev leaves pretty much leaving Rusev to, or Sheamus rather, to a Lucha Dragon, a former NXT champion, and the Swiss Superman till he leaves as well, letting the faces win via count out. And backstage, Rusev jumps Del Rio, who gets attacked by Sheamus, saying, the league is over, and Rusev's like, forget your league! I'm still TV champion! <laughs> The, the league is over. Ah, the league. I'm sad yeah. the league is over. Ooh, yeah. And then we, and, it had there, potential. and after that we got a door of poor Sandow getting jobbed at Corbin. It's like, ah, the injustice. Yeah, yeah, it's the end, yeah, it's the end of days for Sandow. Moving on. Oh. And now, now we get over there. Backstage now with Renee and AJ Styles. Like, AJ doesn't care if what Rain sings. And that payback, he won't call him a liar anymore and call him champ. AJ announces that he will be at ringside during Roman's match over there tonight. They're having a phenomenal seat. Mm -mm. And we're tied for Captain... Uh, yes, uh, Saxon says that it might be one of his new favorite shows for just confirms with how, you know, bad he is. It's like, Saxon, please just go back on the NXT for where you're actually good. No. Don't put him back on NXT. That'll get, it'll get in the way of the. It'll get in the middle of fucking Phillips and Graves, who are great together. Over there, but then over here we have Ambrose, who has won many titles. Like, yeah, Ambrose. Uh, they're calling for what happened on Monday night between himself and Jericho. And so for a little while we're there. Okay, so Sunday, Chris um, their match for payback guy. is coming up. Does the winner get the show? Like, if Jericho beats Ambrose, does he get his Jer? Does he get the um? 
the highlight reel back and we get say goodbye to the Ambrose Asylum? Is that is that the stipulation? Yeah. I don't think they I can do that, know, but I, I hope I, they would. I hope they I would just, do something like that this I week. Just, but they did. I like the Ambrose. I I just get rid of the Ambrose Asylum. Stop having fucking talk shows. <laughs> when Ambrose said he, when Ambrose was going to be the champion, he was saying less talking. Yeah. Don't give him a fucking talk show. I but mean, then, but then he found his ficus and he's like, yeah, all right, the talking. I, I mainly, uh, why isn't the Miz getting angry at these two? He runs the most musty WWE yeah. talk show in history, we, Miz TV. Yeah, we got two of them now. Or three yeah, counting count count Jericho if he gets it back. That's why I was thinking, like, yeah. that would be a thing, too. Like, no, like only we only get one talk show, and who oversees it? But, oh, fuck, he's dead, damn it. I was going to say, I was gonna say yeah, Piper oversees yeah. it, but I'm like, hmm. He's, he's gone. Yeah, get Edge and Christian to come back. They yeah. can be the talk show commissioners. <laughs> yeah, we're cutting be, edge we're, commissioners. That's a, <laughs> thank you, that love it. it. Say Ambrose saying that Jericho's gonna be looking at the guy who's gonna make the guy to look like Bon Jovi to look like Meatloaf. Does, does that mean, so does that mean Ambrose there, can see Paradise and, by the dashboard light? Hmm? Uh, Catherine uh, Zeta Jones uh, does her cat fucking. <laughs> That, or, or, or else he will do anything for a law, but he won't do that. Thank you. <laughs> so, because Danny oh over there in the asylum, Danny comments on how she likes a plant there for what Ambrose is named, Mitch. Mitch. Now, this guy over there now, Ambrose has how Natty, Raw's counter, uh, popular player, and Natty to first the from that heart over there, but then, ooh, yeah. This over there is that of, um, do you guys hear of the bots over there that have it over there on the live version? Over there for where it's saying... Or what was Ric Flair calling, where... telling Natty to kill herself? What? Yeah. Oh. It, was, it was probably because Rick's, Rick, Rick's an old man, always crazy. You don't but script it was Ric he... Flair. <laughs> but that's yeah, the it was problem it, sometimes. I think it, it was little... when Natty said Bret Hart could kick Ric Flair's ass. He basically got... Like, what? He got real mad and said, kill yourself. Woo! Wow. Kind of. Then he kind of taps his shoulders and chucks and jives. <laughs> Rick Flair. Rick Flair's basically Grandpa Simpson. Mm. Are you... mm. Wake up, wake up, dead tomorrow! Woo! The shouts at clouds. <laughs> also, uh, yeah, uh, also. Old man woos at clouds. Yes! <laughs> Somebody <laughs> put that up! <laughs> Oh, I will, so, I will so make it the episode. <laughs> I don't even care what's happening. Also, timely, uh, also timely right. speaking of player, also timely speaking of player, that do you guys hear or because it isn't it happened at Logan Airport that now Rick Flair is all of a sudden removed from his podcast? It was apparently because he was old, like he's old and tired because he's like 70-ish and he's working real hard. And so he was like tired and he hurt his hand and stuff. He wasn't drunk, but I like that his spokesman said that although Ric Flair is famous for filling up airport bars, this time he wasn't drunk. Please trust me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, his best has got to be the Cowboy Bob Orange or Charlotte's Randy Orton. <laughs> but yeah, hey, when's yeah. Randy gonna go punting people again? Uh, that was fun. Isn't he coming back too for the um in the foreseeable future? Maybe it's like maybe that's the thing. Like Cena's back, and then. Oh shit, Orton's here too. They no, and he's and Randy he's, Orton's gonna be over there. Randy Orton's no, Randy. back, and this time he's shooting John Cena's dad with a ch with a shotgun because that man can't be stopped and just doesn't like Cena's dad. <laughs> and then Cena and Zack Ryder team up to form the Sons of Dads. <laughs> what? The Sods. They're both sons. The Sods. They have dads, and they're and they're they're, they're, they're the Sons of Dads. Uh, I, no, I no, 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 no. Anything else? Uh, no, 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 no. Their teenage would be the whitest gangsters you ever know. <laughs> the whitest gang. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 we're there for that, for that guy, a comedy team, the whitest brothers yeah, you ever know. The whitest so, kids. Yeah. But yeah, he's got... To be yeah, honest, I... I, but yeah, I want to see Ric uh, Flair like, manage Zack Ryder just so it can be woo, woo, woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or they're bringing you, or they're just basically in that answer. Trying to get uh, the WWE universe, or their new women's champion said to make the Charlotte Taps the like everything that Brett's been through. You want to parade him around, and Natty with the pot called oh the pot called argument. Have you seen? Saying, have you seen? Have you heard or seen the fucking interview Rick uh, Brett had while he was here? Hmm? 
he has he doesn't want to be there. He's only doing no, it because now he's no, his he's, niece. He's, he, Brett's got no chill. He man. doesn't give. No. I mean, I mean, since when has Brett not been a fan of the WWE? Him and Vince are best buds. <laughs> Next thing, next thing, you know, he's, uh, what's it called, Shawn Michaels is going to do the sharpshooter in Montreal again. <laughs> Brett's got no chill, I'm telling you. Like, I, 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 I'm pretty much, like, in the right with Charlotte, though. Like, the, you know, everything he's been through, you want to parade him around, and now he's like, really? I, why can't it be fucking Jim? Jim the Anvil yeah, Nineheart never... would be great. <laughs> the only thing I want to see is fucking uh, Brett put Rick in a sharpshooter. Because... <laughs> Which, we need that, please. Uh, gimme, gimme. I don't think yeah. you're going to get that because the guy is yeah. pushing a while. And plus, he's had a stroke, so he's not really... Like, even the match at Mania was yeah. kind of like, oh, kind of hard to watch at some point. Oh, there, but, you know, you know, but then, or there, you know, would it be the best thing to have Jim the Anvil and Nightheart coming over there as a the yellow dog from WCW? <laughs> yeah, because that's where he was when there was his initial run at WCW. God, yeah, so weird gimmicks back then wasn't he like just named who or something like that who question mark at one point oh yeah the who yes <laughs> <laughs> jim <laughs> nightheart jim 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 <laughs> i don't have the beard for it anywhere i can't do it i shaved a little bit i used to have like the the longer there, beard but yeah naughty naughty's like uh He's got to help you win because you know you can't do it on your own and Brett's going to make sure Rick doesn't get involved. Rick's like, stop me? I beat Brett in WWE, in WCW. If Vince books us to wrestle on the moon, I'd have beaten him too. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I guess that was like the edited <laughs> instead. Like, like, he's, he's like Brett's going to stop you. He's like, stop me, bitch. You know who I am? At least they, at least they didn't fucking do a mean gene and just play the wrong tape. Or, like, leave it in. <laughs> New Day on comment, taking over the commentary booth, a la Chet Lemon. Do this, no. the, do this for the tag match at Payback, please. <laughs> yeah, for the finals, and then, and then just like, oh, yeah, we're going to have our please. match now. They just run in and jump on them like heels. <laughs> that would be awesome. Or, yeah. just, or just, give the New Day superstars just, and just have them commentate superstars. Yeah, sure, sure. Take it. <laughs> they, were, they were great. Oh. I'd take them over fucking Maggle and JBL. Oh, it was great. Oh, it was fantastic. I and mean, you had like um, what was it? Uh, Muscles Marinara and Big Cass going upside Axel and Dallas of the Outcast. Call Jim Ross because they're about to sauce it. Also, speaking of Big Cass, do you guys hear about the fine that Lily Garcia got for calling Colin Cassidy over here his full name? Oh, really? Yeah, she got a huge fine. Because of that, he's like, you don't call call it Cassie, his real name. It's you call it Big Cass because it's seven foot tall and you can't teach that Lillian. I can't teach that Lillian. I like Lillian. <laughs> Even though, God, she's, she botches on a Lillian lot. Lillian, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for we, we need Tony Chimmel back ASAP. Is, it, is Tony, is Tony With the Chimmel the one who was back? Like, Absolutely, yes! This I think Who was the I think, person that was I think like, he's just tied with Edge now, just because he does the rated R super stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the guy I was about to say. Who's the guy who was doing that for the CM Punk uh, 2011 person? That's what I remember him as. Um, uh, how, how, uh, how, Howard Finkel. That was the Fink, man. Howard Finkel. No, yeah, I know, it. but... Uh, it was... It is the person who did the rated R superstar, but that's I Tony didn't Chimmel. know his name. Yeah. Tony Chimmel. They should rehire him, because he's great. But you know we're there for to hire over there from uh Tracks Nate like over there that uh British lady over there who does of all that that she does a really good job over there for the ring announcing. So at least we'll have another Brit in the WWE. So ain't you They should know. they should hire someone called Renoa just to say Alberto Del Rio. You can be the new Ricardo Rodriguez. Renoa yeah. Rodriguez. <laughs> I'd I'd so do a Give drop kick a... in a suit, it'd look like shit, but I'd do it. <laughs> Give you a sombrero <laughs> and one of those big mustaches. <laughs> Let's yeah, throw mine yeah. out a little bit and die. You'd be the gingeriest Mexican. <laughs> yeah, Renault would be the gingeriest Mexican you ever know. Hey, you. Jersey's you greatest import there. model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jersey is Mexican <laughs> import over there, Michael. Hey, you. Moving on. Oh, this was good. Oh, yeah. Um, Truth thinking Goldust belonged with Fandango, and he's like, "Hey, I got a new tag partner." By the way, he he's 
our truth has duct taped a cell phone on a twig for selfie stick. Oh, like, is he no, having a even with better it? No, he's up with him. The, even better, <laughs> the phone he sell, he's duct taped to the twig is an iPhone 3 that doesn't have a front facing camera. <laughs> that's what it was. I was thinking, like, he's got, he's got to have, like, a shit phone, too, or one that isn't, like, super compatible anymore. It's, like, Super I was dated. hoping it was a flip phone, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh, I want to break. He's been like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know what? I, I got a teenage over there for our truth and Tyler Breeze. Call it White Star Hip Hop. You know, because of this. You're because it's sure doing a goofy shit. And Tyler Breeze, because he's white. Moving on. <laughs> but they're like, the gorgeous truth. And he's like, yeah. He's like, oh, let's I, go. I want to see them as a staple. I'd be I, down for fucking I want, I want, I want, breezy our true Fandango. I, and I Gold hope this Dust becomes a, a match. I wanted this a match for a pre-show, like fan. Uh, was it fan Dan Goldust and uh, the gorgeous Goldango? Goldango, Gold that's what it was. Goldango and the gorgeous well, like for the pre-show, see. but no, it's gonna be um Ryback again for the U.S. title. Last I, che- Who, last uh, I checked. What I what I kind of hope the best thing apart from actually making them a proper staple is just our truth cycling people. So he goes for the gorgeous <laughs> truth, the intellectual truth. Yeah. And you just get Damien Sand out and then you just get a new mix of face The Lunatic Truth. Oh, they're the Salish Wall The truth. Roman truth. The awesome truth. Oh. I wanna see our truth oh. heal again. Because awesome truth. That was great. amazing, yes. Uh, oh, oh, oh yes. Speaking of that, anyone over there, can you please link that, that botchy man Andy over there for where the guy over there that was playing over there for all of the guys that he had over there for where he all of the crappy gimmicks that WWE had. <laughs> if anybody remember that. Um, what was it? I don't watch botchy I don't watch botchy man. I'm very on off with that. I'll If it's on, I can usually catch it because that's all over YouTube. The me! Woo! Old man <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh... Uh, over there, but anywho, Apollo Crews squat to start us. Moving okay. on. Then we were I, miss, I miss the cosmic wasteland. Hmm. I said it. Yeah, me too. No, 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 they're the cosmic miss, dusty. But... No, I miss the cosmic, um, what was him and Barrett? Because that was good too. Because Barrett had the fucking shoulder pads. The cosmic pads. king. <laughs> the cosmic, the cosmic wasteland king. is what it, that's got, no, that was, because that's Wade Barrett's friend. Damn it. Because that's Wade Barrett's old finish. It, it was, because Barrett was the cosmic king. Yes, and then Stardust, the and then uh, Neville and Stephen Amell. Yeah. I think, does, didn't Amell say he wanted to do more or something like that? Neville, yeah, Even Amell Neville? said he'd come back. Before Neville got injured, though. But was now, along those lines. Neville was injured, and Stardust is dead in the water. Hey, now we move on to the main event. Roman Reigns taking on The Miz. When's the last time The Miz main evented a show? Wow. Gotta make Roman look strong, but Miz not looking w- exactly weak himself. Look, he's been having, like, SmackDown's been, like, very good to him. Like, they're kind of title, like, it's, well, it's, it's the kind of title, but Miz, he still has, like, really good matches. He's the purest heel they have in terms of everyone wants to punch him in the face. He makes it him. He's got everyone. that PIF factor. He's got the PIF factor. <laughs> Punches. Punch in face. Also, Maurice's outfits are ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Woo. Definitely over there. If it wasn't for Sasha Banks, I would totally bang Maurice. Just moving on. Delightful. Carrying on. <laughs> Old man woos that clown. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Woo. The Usos didn't get booed when they came out. Yeah. It might have been because... Roman was... hasn't cursed like... them completely. Not yet. He hasn't cursed them. They still don't know what to make Order of the Usos. The Samoan yeah. curse. The Samoan curse. No, but, no, no, the, only re- no, no the only reason for why did they get booed is because SmackDown pipes in crowd noise. But That's what I mean. It's the tape thing. It could be just tape thing, but you never know. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rings wanted to do his homework on AJ, and he'll return the favor. AJ was, like, uh, watching this whole time in the match during uh, Rings. What was it? Rings, um, Rings Truth. No, Rings Miz, sorry. I have truth over here. Reigns and our truth What? Our truth in the main event would be great. <laughs> like, he just shows up, he's like, I thought, uh, does the thing that's like, I thought it was the open, like, this isn't the opening segment. This is, you, you, you lost that match. It's like, oh, my bad. There was that rumor after, like, Roadblock that Reigns was injured and wasn't going to be uh, healed in time for Mania that really interested me. It's like, what would they have done if Reigns was Ooh. injured for Mania? 
I, I, I still uh, say they there wasn't it. there wasn't any booze for AJ. There was more. <sighs> I still From say they what I've it heard for, of people um, going Ambrose. to like live events during the UK crowd, AJ's sort of getting like a 75-25 uh, split yeah, of the like crowd, with like 75% liking him, but then there's still that 25% people who are usually just kind of smart mark arseholes who are saying, we're, <coughs> we're going to boo the heel because boo. Yeah, woo. Fuck those guys. I'm at your own. He's better than Order. Kevin Owens. <laughs> Order, but Order, buddy. Oh, there, there you go. That was SmackDown. Overall, that now we go over toward Payback prediction. There's no, two, we go uh, to Superstars and Main Event. The I true can do that while I look up the, um, Yes, I can do that while I plug in. Watch, well, I gotta plug in my uh, watch account first. I'll in Superstars, WWE United States Champion Kalisto defeated Tyler Breeze in the match of the week for WWE by far. Was absolutely fantastic. How good is he on Twitter right now? Because everyone's like shitting Who, on him. Because everyone's shitting on him because he's like the jobber now, and Tyler Breeze is like, yeah, I'm making pretty good money here, you know? And so it's like, ooh, yeah, I'm, no, so, yeah, that was I'm Tyler, so in trouble Tyler here. Tyler was like, when are, you, when are you going to return to NXT? It's like, hang on, just checking my bank yeah, account. Yeah, yeah. This was, oh, he's great. He's Tyler, like, check my bank he's account. A fan, like, and he's just, he's he's just all fantastic all yeah, around. He knows he's It's a, just that. He knows he fucked up. He's like, all right, maybe make the best of it, you know? And I think it's interesting that even with him kind of doing that skit we've got with our truth he was still just a, a yeah. kind of dick. It's like, hey, T. Dizzle, how do you like my stick? Do you like my stick? No. No. He walks off. <laughs> That's what I was hoping this was going to be. Like, maybe he's out. Maybe this is, like, coming in. It's like, ah, you got to start small now. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's doing better for him than the fucking, um, what is it? Um, the um Titus O'Neil. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Those fucking commercials. I don't think Titus is ever going to get pushed again. Oh also, Dolph Ziggler's push could be dead in the water. Oh, no. Did you hear what happened to Dolph Ziggler's family? Oh. His oh. brother is currently uh, wanted for murder. What? Aggravated murder. Oh, shit. For shooting a Marine. Oh, shit. Yeah. Bye-bye, yeah. Dolph Ziggler. Your contract is gone. Ooh. Yeah, course, it's and, uh, Donald Nemeth who is currently yeah, on the awesome. run. Also, Dragon Set. I didn't know we're here. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know you were mad to start. I know you were mad to, uh, at the beginning of Superstar because Big Show squashed your boys. No, that wasn't this Superstars. Uh... This taping of Superstars. We had uh, Kalisto beating Tyler Breeze for the third time in a row on Superstars. Run that much yeah. dry, but then we had Zack Ryder beating Devon Dudley. <laughs> Woo! And then on main event, we had Zack Ryder and Fandango being fed to Gallows and Anderson. Whoa. Yeah. Woo. I don't know is Fandango coming. face or heel? Because all I see from him is white boy biggie hip gyrations. <laughs> He's big biggie comes in like, that's not how you yeah. do it. <laughs> Gonna get the junk in your trunk. But yeah, they get fed, and then we have Dolph Ziggler versus Victor. Dolph Ziggler wins because Victor isn't fully in the social outcasts. Boo! What was happening was during the UK tour, they cut the roster split in half, and so Bo Dallas and Heath Slater were on, were on representing the outcasts for one half of it. But then because Adam Rose is away. Uh, Curtis asked if Victor could join him, Copy that. and Victor did. Wonder if that'll work. Victor's cool. He was trained in the Heart Dungeon. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a super and then match. no, there's one more match in main event, which was Kevin Owens versus Jack Swagger. Wow. And apparently it was a really good match. Because it's Jack Swagger. And oh. Uh, yeah, and then oh, and then at the end of the match, Owens kicked Rich Brennan off the commentary table to do the uh, thing. Recap of the match because yeah, dickhead. Yeah, hey, so now that was me and a superstar. Now we want to word payback prediction. How the fuck yeah, does sure. Apollo Crews not have a match on payback? He's yeah, the I only know. NXT four they might just it. throw him somebody for like the pay per view and not like what you call it, to like fill time for. What you mean, like Curtis Axel and R Truth had at Fastlane? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, 
you know, you know, just like giving him a squash for like Ryback did, or there for like every semi-main event there was in the pay-per-views yeah, in 2012. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be that guy for now, except he's like really jovial. He was really smiley for being on one leg after I think Del Rio worked him for that match. I know it was like it was Stardust. Yeah, Stardust yeah. worked him because it was like a repeat of Raw. That's right. Yeah, he like wor- he yeah, worked the leg. Right he tried man. to knock him down, but uh, Apollo Cruz was like, "Oh, I'm on one leg," and he still like, stood up. He was like, "Yeah, we are the guy the world." I'm the- he <laughs> is the power of positivity. Yeah. Look at that smile. On them yeah, early dude, whites. I love him in New Day. I don't know. Also, what, yeah, Apollo yeah. Cruz, like they they're looking has, him over and like, "What's your credentials?" Movie. or something like that. And he's like, "I smile a lot." I, I, I know. Yeah. The only promo Apollo Cruz has had is in a, is a online exclusive interview. Yeah, the give thing him with, something um, to work with. Yeah, the don't thing just with, make um, him be the smiling black guy who beats people yeah, up. Yeah, it was good though because he was like, um, like you know, talking to a um, Stardust at the time. He was like, "Hey, your um, your dad really helped me out. I want to honor him by having a match. I thought it was it's an honor to have a match with you." And Stardust was like, <laughs> "You're not good enough for that dude." It's like, ah. let's see, you want to be also breaking kayfabe. Uh, fucking Dusty gave you the name Apollo Cruz. What about Mister and Mrs. Cruz? Yeah, what's up with that? Are we gonna have Dusty Rhodes illegitimate son Apollo <laughs> Rhodes? <laughs> hey, you willing to work to start a it, right? Man, sorry for the pre-show, Cleeso for right back. And sorry, Cleeso, you're gone. You a champion? You you a champ? The big guy. Yeah, I think we're all. Clear. I want I think we're all for I want at this point. I no, I want Kalisto like to Kalisto, win because but... Kalisto. Well, I, Kalisto needs more character, and I really yeah. want a Kalisto versus Sin Cara mask versus mask title match feud because it'll be fucking dope. Hmm. Yeah, but oh, I kind of want the title to change just to do something with it. That's what I mean. Just yeah, do it, and then have oh, Ryback dear. lose to Apollo Cruz. Oh, I'd like to see Apollo Cruz beating Ryback for the title. Give Apollo Cruz something to do. Just to have it a match would probably be awesome. Uh, you know, uh, over there, so the side version over here, which will be the proper opener, but I think it will probably be Miz versus Cesaro for the IC belt. As yeah, the, the IC title usually opens. Yeah. I think the Miz is going to win. Yeah, I think Miz um, will win by a disqualification here. With, over there, you know, I don't think, I don't think it will be through, I don't think it will be D- uh, DQ. I think it will be through Maurice-shaped shenanigans. Yeah. To distract Cesaro. But I re- I really want Cesaro to win because I want my kind of idea with it, or not idea, but my dream of it would be Cesaro wins and then he just never drops the title and he has it for like ten months and makes it special in the same way that Cena did with the US title during the Open Challenge. Mm-hmm, just yeah. Cesaro makes the IC title and has it until like TLC next year. Wow. Yeah. And he is that. and he is the definitive IC title of the modern era. Yeah. I was gonna say Apart the opening match was gonna be the uh, right tag back. finals because then the new day does like after like an hour or two no, that, they get rest and then they do. No, no, but that no, would no, but that would not no, coincide no, no. with my run in idea, which I really want. I want the new day to like immediately run in on the finalists and start the match. No, 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 that, that'd be a second. Ensign Big Cass versus the Bob Villains. New Day come out on commentary. Bob Villains be over there for the win, and then all of a sudden New Day come out over there for a commentary, and start attacking the Bob Villains here, yeah, start saying I'm the match now, <laughs> and and and, 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 you know, and having the New Day retain the belts here. Still, so. mm. yeah, yeah, could be. I, I mean, want the as long as the Vaud Villains win, I'm happy because Enzo and Cass are good, but they shouldn't win because nah. face versus face isn't as easy to do as a proper heel versus face and man the vaude villains could tear the shit into enzo and Ka- uh, not enzo and Ka- the new day yeah with your shucking and jiving and your hip gyrating back in my day okay i can see, new day, re- like I see new day returning but they're gonna have a fight in their hands and the, we're gonna see like what the vaude villains are capable of and then they're gonna like and uh, hopefully the, i think the dudleys are gonna interfere though because when's Dudleys the last time the dudleys and, let a few yeah, die totally, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I'm half expecting in the middle of the match the Dudley boys just come out and powerbomb Carmella for a table <laughs> because it's the Dudley boy. It's what <laughs> they do. <laughs> oh, they just grab her from NXT. <laughs> it's like, how look what we no, got you just, yeah. on, on the <laughs> t- on the Titan Tron, you just have C D on following B- Bubble with a camera oh, and they just oh. powerbomb her through the NXT. That's in, your in, fucking in, in, call up, eating a powerbomb through a table. <laughs> 
Wow. Apparently, Mae Young wanted Bubba to power bomb her f- off the fucking steel cage. Oh my god, because she's fucking Middle Eastern and crazy. You're Ric Flair, Jesus. That she, was when okay, she was, was like trooper, 70 back then, 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 man. Shilly shit. Yeah, she Mae was, Young was great. Yeah. She was. And then we have. Yeah. Then we have okay. Deanne Ambrosi versus Tris Jericho. Jericho. Uh, no, 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 Three, no. I think, two, no. one, Dean. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I think the next match. No, I think the next match is going to be Charlotte versus Natty for the women's title. In which that case, Charlotte's going to win because they need to set up over there for no. Charlotte versus Sasha. At no, 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 no. Natty Natty's wins, and then we get, and then, and then Sasha goes full boss, full heel boss. Because Sasha's great as a babyface, but she's fucking impeccable as a heel. I can't breathe. <laughs> there may you. <laughs> it's kind of, that's kind of the thing with be. Sasha. It's it's, it's, it's like a weird conundrum with, that, with her because I, we know because we everybody likes Sasha and we know her as this person. It's like yeah, she's living her dream. Like I seen like I remember seeing like the thing at WrestleMania. She was like she she saw like hey, I'm up there now, and then she burst into tears. Oh no, yeah, her and Bailey are perfect kind yeah. of. Antithesis, because just, just in there, they've got the same background but different attitudes and characters towards like it. They, they, they really could Eddie Guerrero this thing. Like if she wanted, she wanted to go like full out, like kind of like the heels, but everybody like really, really likes her. Like she could do like the cheating <laughs> if they want to. What's this? A lie? A cheat? A steal? What's this? I bitch. I boss. I bank. <laughs> you may not like me. Everybody wants to fight. Me. <laughs> everybody My wants to chant for me. We want Sasha. <laughs> Over there, but, but the um, other reason uh, I want Natalia to win is because I want Natalia to win and then Charlotte to beat the shit out of Rick just to get nuclear level heat. And then you see her go be less of a cheating, but and more of just a, I'm going to kill everyone, I'm angry, rah. Hopefully she stops spearing people, her spears look fucking awful. Kind of like, kinda like Orton him. became later on after he dropped his dad. Was, yeah. Because like, they were that weird position. That's not sure. I think would be the third match over there from uh, the uh, main event would be for me. D. Ambrose taking on Chris Jericho. And which I Dean's think Ambrose win. would... Uh, I, think, I think Ambrose is going to win the first one over there if they have like a blow off at SummerSlam between these two. But is it, Dean for, needs is it for the to show win. though? Is it for the thing? Is it for the, the scarf? Oh, it's the scarf. Does, does he steal? He takes the scarf from it. Chris, like, Dean Ambrose becomes scarf the scarf versus TV segment. champion. The scarf champion. And then they have a scarf versus TV match with Rusev. Over there. And, and then uh, Rusev or... puts the scarf on the TV and he's just trying to make a slowly make a man out of it like <laughs> Pinocchio style. <laughs> and there did we set up or, or the semi main same versus Owens. In which that maybe I'd agree with Vassar here, but Owens will win this first match. No. No, 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 no. I think either Owens is going to win through shenanigans, or Zayn's going to win for a fluke roll-up, and then Owens goes ballistic on him post-match Just and, like, powerbombs him. him into the ring apron like he did when he betrayed good old Sami Zayn. Oh, no, yeah, this feud will never end. <laughs> this feud is good. This is going to be gonna bleed the SummerSlam. long-running it, it could definitely... Yeah, it could yeah, definitely yeah this is a fight forever. Feud. Ideally, yeah. I'd like this to ble- I'd like this to bleed over to WrestleMania, and that's the main event. Zayn versus Owens for the main title. That'd be mwah, beautiful. Ooh, gorgeous. Over but, there, yeah, over put there, Roman you know on the pre-show fighting Tyler Breeze for the US <laughs> title. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> Fog Roman. I mean, well, not fuck Roman, and, but kind of... Semi fuck Roman. Over, over there, but anywho, we were there. Speaking of Roman, the main event, in which that pretty much that were South. I think AJ has you. a good shot at this. They're not gonna take but, the time you know, from that early good. though. Not, yeah, really. but but not after all the did. time they've spent. Imagine like, if is they is did. It? Imagine if they did, and that makes Roman go full heel turn. So. So then AJ goes has to deal with Bullet Club hating him and Roman hating him. Because I want to see a fucking heel Samoan faction. At Roman, Usos, Nia, maybe Joe, even though I doubt Joe would go with that because it's Joe. Joe's got the title. He's not going to get the call up yet. Bum, bum, he's he's got to defend it against bum, Nakamura. Well, they announced the the main event for the next... Hmm? They already announced the main event for the next NXT TakeOver, Revenge. Oh. Yeah, Joe Valor rematch. Oh. oh, rematch. Rematch clause, okay. Which is which is now the third... Fourth, counting. 
the... Yes. Is it the fourth main uh, NXT TakeOver main event they've had? Well, third main event, yeah. Takeover. Yeah, well, third... Uh, take no, no, it's the third. It's the third. They main event TakeOver fourth one, and they main event TakeOver Dallas. Oh, okay, yeah, because no, no, Brooklyn has no. been Balor Kevin Owens, and then it's been Respect... Uh, then it was London, Dallas, and now Revenge, because Respect was Bailey, Sasha. Um, right. Corbin, moving yeah, on, Vex. I so don't care about Corbin Ziggler. <laughs> I don't think... I do. Yeah. I like because yeah, Corbin's this gonna win. win. Corbin's gonna win. It's it's what Ziggler even have yeah. at this point. He jobbed to him like twice during like like I so don't. Like, yeah, my boy. But here's the thing: this. how quick around. will it take? Because yeah. I like the, uh, they're booking Corbin really strong. Yeah. Same for Apollo, but Bro, Corbin yeah, has I say story. Two minutes. Corbin's got the. Uh, I say two minutes. Corbin's got the um the. Andre the Giant trophy, which we don't see that much anymore. I, they, I'm glad they kind of okay. moved him away from that to make him look not super ridiculous. Oh, uh, to be honest, okay, I would have yeah, liked I would have liked Corbin just picking it up and like baseball batting someone with it. <laughs> just beats him like Triple H beat um Mankind after he won. Go the back ring. to the internet, Ziggler. <laughs> Go back oh, to the Indies, Ziggler. Nick Nemeth. No, okay, it's not okay. even the Indies. It's the internet. It's why he hates. It's why he's beating up Damian Sandow. Yeah. And Ziggler because he hates the internet. He hates, he hates Marx. <laughs> he's a, okay, he's the, you know what? Everybody Baron are. Corbin, the Marx Slayer. He just starts going after fans. Like, go back. He's Vince hey. McMahon's stand. Pretty much. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're there for a set. We're there for the main event. So we're proposing this scenario. There, since I already did the 18,000 year scenario over there for Roman and, I mean, not number one, Gal Sanderson over there standing up on the outside. And that, that age. Where it's just pretty much there's the outside. There, AJ just probably there for the boom, low blow. AJ gets his qualification, bullet club attacks, and then set up the night after on Monday Night Raw. Valor comes up making his debut. Valor teams up with Roman Reigns over there, saying, is, "Hey, I know these guys. Or I could be these guys since they betrayed me. Raw that they buried me over there for New Japan. For Raw, so now." Or Rawls that now we can team order to defeat these guys. So this has a three on two main event, Reigns and Valor versus the Bullet Club. And then then you know for shenanigans, Ben Valor no tags, Roman Reigns, and then Roman Reigns gets defeats, and then all of a sudden like Roman Reigns going like for what the hell are you doing in there? And then Ben Valor just all of a sudden hits the bloody Sunday on Roman Reigns and then boom, the full Valor Club in the WWE. I prefer calling it Bulletproof than Balor Club because then you could have the thing of maybe like Balor leaving and doing a face run and had AJ taking over and having a uh, about a Bulletproof Civil War. Thanks for us being thanks for um, thinking they got the Bullet Club just so they can kill it off. But the I'm, I was I was thinking that way. My Gallows and Anderson turn on um, AJ and join Roman. They start the Roman Empire, and then the Usos, they'll become, like, face late, ask, like, what's well, no, going on? Well, no, and then no, Ambrose think, is like, what's going on? And that's their, like, they're, no, and then you get, like, that three I figured it all out. I've had an epiphany. Who did this, who did Anderson and Gallo save when they first made their debut? Not AJ. Not Roman. Social Outcast. Oh, my God. <laughs> it all makes sense. <laughs> oh, my God. They want to be Dragons. part of the Outcast. <laughs> You get like Sex Ferguson right, and, and the, you get, you get Sex Ferguson and Anderson and Gallows <laughs> in the social outcasts. Oh no! And then you get the split of it. They don't like each other. Gallows stays with the social outcasts, and then you get Anderson teaming with R Truth and Tyler Breeze, T Dizzle, T Brizzle, <laughs> T BZ, T BZ. Oh fuck me! <laughs> Chef Boyardee. <laughs> Z. Ooh, I could go for some right now. I have. I think I got. <laughs> Close on that note. That's the podcast. Oh no, there is something I wanted to say. You said you said you wanted to close out with something. There was a there was an article about a undercard, like an under under like a a bottom card title. And this was more of a joke article, but I thought it'd be quite funny. You have a tournament and the loser wins the match. You win the match by losing the match. So so to advance in the tournament, (laughs) you get pinned. And it's the title of the worst person in the 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 worst of the worst. And so you just have a comedy thing of each social outcast not wanting the tournament, so they try and lose first. <laughs> and so you just have like a five minute match of like Adam Rose and Curtis Axel just lying down next to each other, shouting at each other, "Pin me! Pin me! Pin me!" Pin me! Pin me! 
<laughs> and that's the podcast. <laughs> Premium wrestling journalism. You're welcome. <laughs> um, if you hum a few bars, we might find some of those. <laughs> Wait, I don't know that many people. Fuck it.